bolts are no match for Joe. Look at all this dirt. How many um how many bolts were holding in the seats, Joe? Uh three bolts on each seat. Is that how it's supposed to be from the factory? Um <laughs> makes it faster, less bolts. Did it break? This was right yeah, there, right? Just pulled. This was supposed to be on the other side. Just pulled it all the way out. Safety first, people. If you're driving an older vehicle. It's not always your soft suspension. <laughs> oh, good job, Joe. you're a beast without telling me you're a beast. Joe's a beast. That's my face. Money maker. It is. It is why a lot of this is possible. Yes, I think people like my face. And they like that I can do things. Build a TJ starter kit. This, the roll cage. I can't get near you. It's in the way. Look how clean this thing is. Only 1.5 holes. <laughs> mm. That's a big one though. It is. Good thing nobody have rolled this. That's these old Jeeps. Yeah. All the water just settles in that area. Mm -hmm. They don't have drain holes how they used to. Well, wouldn't this technically be a drain hole? It is, but no, it, that's just a plug. It, they used to have little raised, like castle plugs. Well, the new so, ones have plugs this shape. Well, they used to have raised castle plugs, and then all the water would just go into those castle plugs and drain. Yeah. And so was, they were hoping if they sealed up the top and everything better, that wouldn't happen. But it's a Jeep people drive without the tops on quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. So Joe and I are debating whether to keep the dash or not. It doesn't leave you much room, and this isn't like, we're not building this as a 4,500 car right now. And Anna, if it lasts that long, would like to drive it someday. Um, so we're debating whether to put the roll cage through the dash and keep the dash or get rid of it. I think for simplicity in budget right now, keep as much of the dash as we can, just so we have gauges and like a speedo and stuff 
but we also need more room because this is like small and rice seeds and stuff take up space so but we can move further back and we'll build a frame for the i was what my main concern was if we later want to lengthen this to lj length mm -hmm. and not have to redo the whole cage yeah if we do a high fast back so mm -hmm. through the dash up here then back and then have it go fast back but right now I'll go high fast back and it will leave it to have the bar go about here before do the 90 to go down mm -hmm. and that way when we do LJ length we, we can, can just add another piece to it yeah yeah and then we can keep that bar we can put a big gusset in it yeah and, um, and like a cross member or something yeah and then ins insert a tube into it and then go straight down to the extra few inches of the fast and keep the fastback look yeah so that's i like that idea because i think sooner or later it's gonna end up lj length i do want an lj or three three For me, myself, and I. There's that many of you. <laughs> Maybe Joe can drive one. That way he can stop saying my Jeep. And I'll let him pretend he has one for real. I like my Toyota. I like your Toyota too. Just Sometimes he needs a little more horsepower. Mm -hmm. LJ. LJ the world. Do an LJ with a four rotor rotor motor in it. Yep, Joe wants to rotary swap the world. What was that other motor that we were looking at? Three GST. I forgot. It has like a ton of horsepower, like a thousand horsepower, but it was like heavy. I feel like it was older. Um, Crosworth YB engine? Yeah. That'd be dope. What was that vehicle that you showed me the video of the other day? Where he like couldn't steer it even and it was just like spitting oil on his face? That top gear one? Oh. Had a BMW aircraft motor in it. I think it was insane. Yeah. Um, it was like Godzilla or something. No, it was... Start with a B. It had some like satanic name to it, that car. All right, so we're gonna go through the dash then. I think we're gonna go through the dash. Are we gonna have less bends if we do it that way? We'll do. I think we'll have the same amount of bends no matter what. Okay. Well, we want to minimize the bends anyway. Yeah. So tubing stronger with the least bends. Yes. But we'll have a soft bend. And then a 90 and another soft bend here, mm -hmm. then come down to a 90 through the rear. So where are we tying it in in the front? To through the, the firewall? Yeah, it will go down kind of by the OBD2 connector right here, mm -hmm. straight through. And then we'll have another tube up inside. But what's going to go across? Across. We're gonna do a crossbar in between. Yeah, and then we'll probably strengthen. Well, we'll have rocker guards on and stuff, and so they'll strengthen for side hits. I'm not sure on 4600 if we can do sidebars. Yeah. Which I'd like to do. Me too. But I think we can, but they have to be. You have to be able to open them. Yeah. What's up? I gotta find these dogs. Hey! Hi. You're being a good girl. Tucker, Zoe, or T Stella. Stella Tucky. Hi. Hi, guys. What are you doing? You're like, why are you held captive, Zoe? Huh. Huh. I have the cutest shop dogs ever. I have Zoe tied up. Oh, you wanna play tug of war? You can't play tug of war like that, silly girl. I like my Factor 55 uh, dog tie down. Tucker, come. So, on today's episode, 
in the Send It Garage. I'm your host, Send It Ruby. Repping a little Dixie four wheel drive beanie. These are new. This was my Christmas, one of my Christmas gifts from them, which was awesome. And then Barnes four wheel drive. I have my truss kits. I got a rear bumper. We got front bumper. Uh, what else do I have? License plate delete. So first thing I'm gonna paint is the JL stuff. Cause we are doing sliders that I'm gonna modify their body mount. Um, but we're gonna weld them to the frame as well. So make them a little bit stronger to try to save that JL tub. I'm gonna leave my motorbelt skins on because uh, I already have holes in the body. So can't do anything about that. Um, but eventually I'd like to get them filled in and uh, maybe make some different armor. Hey, come here, Stella. Or uh, just not have them. So, uh, but as far as race car goes, Tucky, hi buddy. Hi buddy. <laughs> Tucky and Stella, best friends. So my axles, come on guys, let them out. Come on, what's it? Good dogs. Joe's working on a dirt bike for a buddy who's a customer. So my axles, what axles am I running? I am not running Fusion 10s, 10s. I'm not running Fusion anything as far as axles go. I love my fusion axles, but the budget is just not there. So these are axles that we already had and they already have a lot of stuff on them. As you can see, they're uh, somewhat, somewhat beefed, but they are in dire need, dire need of stripping down. So that's what I'm doing this weekend. Stripping these down. Strip them down so I can start tacking up my truss kit. I am doing a three link in the front with a pan hard bar, which that is a trek bar for you Jeepo. Jeepos. Um, and then I'm doing a four triangulated four link in the rear. And we are using all Barnes components. Um, they have a TJ kit that they cut everything. You just got to weld it up. So I'm pretty excited to show you that. I'm 99 to 04 Ford axles. I have a 10 and a half in the rear and a 60 in the front. So uh, beefy tubes. I'm not, I'm not hating about that. Um, at the moment, I'm probably gonna do ARBs front and rear because they don't make a spool for the 10 and a half in the rear. So um, other than, cause I wanna drive this on the road too. So this T-Rex is gonna be racing stock class. And then after KOH or maybe the end of the season, I don't know, we're gonna stretch it and make it an LJ. And then the other tub we're building a chassis, gonna do an LS, and we're gonna make a different car. So, I kinda want this just to be my second wheeler. Um, I love Jessie, I think she's beautiful. I love wheeling her, but I would like something else to get a little rowdy in as well, so. And you can never have too many Jeeps. Watching you knock this vehicle off of jack stands. <laughs> Well, you He-Man. Oh yeah. Hey, I needed that. I needed that part. Is that cracked? It's just... Nope. Okay. Okay. You want a cut off or plasma cut off? We need to move that bed. Mm, wouldn't plasma cut off be better? It'd be faster, but we have to move that bed. Any other? Jeez, Joe, you made such a mess. Silly Joe. Silly Joe. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. Great job. Okay. 
This is our front axle. It's almost as old as me. Joe was out of high school. No? Were you out of high school when this thing was made? Probably. Maybe. Fun fact about us. Joe's really old and I'm not. But he has more energy than I do, so. Who's the real winner? Oh, dude. You're a mess. Your little helmet just fell. He needs, he needs help. Excuse me, he put this down. What are we doing? What do you want me to do? Oh, just pull the dog bed? All right, so we're gonna use a plasma cutter to cut it off. Are we just cutting off? Is this a factory truss or an aftermarket one? No, somebody had these in a TJ before. Oh, and they're going back in a TJ, how fun. So we're gonna cut off the truss. Yeah. The truss and these brackets. On either side of that. Yep. And then what about right here? That bracket also. But leave this. No, the barnes kit comes with all that. It's gonna be a pain to cut off because they're... Because it's so tied into the knuckle. The casting, yeah. What did they do? Like remove the knuckle and... No. They, did they notch it? I'm not sure. Looks like they did. Right there is what I'm talking about. No, I don't think they did. No? Okay. <sighs> And so we're gonna cut all of this. Cut this. Empty. Cut that. I've never used a plasma cutter before, so this is gonna be fun. You wanna mess it up? And then we'll... What are some things that you can do to mess things up with a plasma cutter, Joe? You can cut the wrong direction. Cut in the tubing. Uh, overheat things. Start a fire. How do you know if it's overheated? Uh, just if you move too long or stick, keep it on something for too long. Mm. It's not a big deal. Okay. Hopefully I'll cut through that. I don't know what, how heavy your plasma cutter is. We're gonna find out. Let's get to it. You're like the fanciest Joe I've ever met. You got a really nice extension cord. Is this the plasma cutter that doesn't work? Uh, I took it apart and soldered it, the solder joints. Okay. That's exciting. That's pretty much how Joe got most of his equipment until I came along and was like, let's buy all the things. <laughs> now Joe's out of control. Buying tools left and right. Showing crack. Oh. Plugging it in. Is this just powered or is there? So what do you do? You hook it up, you hook it, ground it out to what you're cutting? Yep. That's exciting. And, and... So for all those people that probably want to know but won't ask, if it falls off the clip, what happens? If what? If the clip falls off, what happens? So it's still cut. Will you get shocked? You can. Solid. Some of them don't have, not all of them have clips. Yeah. Do you have to, what do you have to wear for safety protection, Joe? Gloves. Gloves and what? A lot of people just wear goggles, but. Helmets. I bet this looks real cute. You're supposed to wear a full bed. Yeah. Why aren't we wearing full bibs, Joe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
got an apron. Yes, you do. My helmet's getting weird with my braids today. Yeah. It's through on both sides. Okay, good. Yeah, I can see. I watched it underneath. Cause I could see fire shooting underneath. Do you want like a bar or something? No. Um. You want to do that side? Sure. Hi, Char, and I gotta put on my gloves. Do you know where my gloves are? I saw um, them. You can use these. Oh, you know what? They're over there. These are a lot thicker than those other ones. And the other ones, they feel just the same. And the white ones? No, I have red ones. Oh, never mind. Hold, please. They're Lincoln gloves. My Lincoln gloves. These are nice. Good. Just right here. Okay. So just go right there. Yeah. Then we have to grind what we don't cut off. Is it, once it cools, does it like mallet stuff back together? Some parts of it will. Yeah. So if you can do it, if you use this weld as a guide. Yeah. You can do it right there. Okay. And it's probably better to go a little bit higher. Just I would say it's that way we can always clean it up versus getting into the knuckle. Yeah, and then but do it up and down. Okay. And I just hold down on it. Just pull it down. Okay, it's like a uh, lighter.
I would like to just cut everything off. So we're gonna try to move this. <laughs> this uh, Ford 10 and a half inch Super Duty. It's not heavy or anything. <laughs> Needs to work out. <laughs> oh, this is why I like doing this stuff because then I don't have to. <sighs> I swear our, our banter is better when the camera is dead without fail. So, drag this over, started chopping it off. I'll have to clean up, I'll have to rotate that one and clean it up a bit more. But, fashion statement of the year. Gonna grind some of this crap off of the axles. Not exciting, but I said I'd bring you along. This, so probably Just right the about top there, part? all the way around. What are we doing today? Welcome, Send It Nation, to the Send It Garage. I'm Send It Ruby. This is Joe. What are we doing? We need to cut two inches off this so we can mount the Barnes truss kit for the three link. Excuse my snack collection and truss collection. Not very organized, I'm aware. So we're cutting this down to basically the tube? Yes. Okay. Wish me luck. And how many days do we have till hammers? I don't know. I, today's, today's the 16th. So there's what, 30 or 31 in January? Let's look at a calendar. Depends, is it leak here? Oh my gosh. That's not Joe, I don't know what is. I think we're at, where's my little countdown thing? Let me look that up, give me a sec. Okay, so if the race is the ninth, which I think it is, we have 55 days. So, I should probably do something. We are using 99 to 2004 Super Duty axles. This is a 60. So I need to trim the housing here two inches. So I'm gonna mark it and then start cutting. Ooh, it's chilly. This tape sucks. 
So I need to cut Wow, this is really awesome. Is it, it's cold? Or we go put it in the sun? I don't have time for that. 